We had a surprise today. We got our little motor for the little car. So we can continue doing our recycling cans and bottles. This one's going in this little car because I seized the other one up there. So I'll be taking some parts off that one. Um, like a few extra electrics, like probably maybe the bull bar, don't know, that's a necessity. Uh, an accessory if we need it. Um, but the tonneau cover at the back will be going on this one. I've already started taking the bonnet off and that sort of thing. As you see, the bonnet's gone, it's sitting there. Um, I'll be putting that bonnet on here because this bonnet is blistering. As you can see, she's a blistering. So I will have to do a blue slip for this one because we're in New South Wales, Australia. That's how we do things. Um, that's to get it all roadworthy and registered. And then we go to the uh, Service New South Wales and pay all of our money. And let's hope this all goes well because I've got to go through all the formalities of a motor swap and kilometres and all that sort of thing. So there is a few bits of interior that I've got to do too that needs fixing up. But yeah, we're going to put that motor in this and uh, we'll get going with this one. It's in better condition in body. Um, this one hasn't got all the kick well down under here buggered up. The old one over here, it has. I sort of basically almost wrecked it. But anyway, that's what my plan is. And we're going to put the little motor in. Right, we're ready to pull the little motor out. So, for all to do, we'll just get to and get it out, I suppose. I've got to pry it apart down in here. I've got all the bolts loose, all the electrics all gone. Radiators disconnected, heater pipes disconnected. So I've just got to pry it apart from the bell housing and we should be fine. So, let's get to it. Get it done. Go down here. That one's apart. I'm just got to watch the fingers that, that on the clutch that they don't get bent. So hopefully I can just push that. I've got the good old trusty winch on it. They don't usually like being pulled apart. I've got a fair bit of tension on that too. Alright, yep. That's fine. Take it down a bit. Um... Get it back down to there. Still got a bit of tension. One of those stubborn ones where you got to help it. I've got all the bolts out. We got it a little bit freer. It was stuck on some dowels there and over there. Freer still. I think it's hanging a little bit. So wireless remote. It's all going up and down to the winch on there. It's all controlled. Woo, that's a bit much. Woo, that's a bit less. Woo. Not the best way of doing it, but that's the only way I can do it at the moment. I haven't got an engine crane or nothing. No engine lifts. So uh, you're in you're in the bush, you do the best you can. <sighs> Got another way of doing it. Take it one off.
coming out now. It's a common. It's a common. Still got a fair way to come out there. Yeah, we got to. May have to take a bracket off. Don't want to. I don't think I can. That's looking like it. That's as close as we need to go. Give a slight lift. This is all new to me on how to do this. I've never pulled a motor out of a little car like this before. So if I'm doing it wrong, I'm just doing it wrong. Trying to minimise what I pull out and what I don't pull out. That's all it is. We'll get the little car going. I'll bring this back when I've got it halfway out. Right, we're about to pull the motor out. Up and slow and steady. Give it a few wibbles, wobbles and wabbles and we'll try and get it out. Without breaking anything. Get it past a few extra bits and pieces down here. Ooh, we've got luck. We are in luck everyone. Tell you what, it'll be bugger without that winch. Well, only just hanging on there too. That looks good to me. I've got to push this out of the road now. Yeah, I reckon I'll have to push it out of the road. I might um, push it forward. That way I can grab the other one, load this one in the back. I reckon that's a good idea. Try and clear the roof. Look, that's it. That's the roof. Now I can just swap them around and put it in. I'm not going to worry about changing the clutch. I can't quite see how that clutch is. I'll have a look at that when I get it down the back. Alright, we've got the other motor up. The old one's sitting there. We're about to roll the car back. Hopefully it doesn't come in catastrophe. <laughs> I've got the brake. June's watching. Oop. <laughs> I'll see what that's like. No, the other way, though. You can't put the flywheel in the in the bell housing. That's the way. Now we've got to put the alternator back on the ground. We may need to move the car forward or back a few times. And I think we have gone a little bit too far, but we'll rock it in. We can push the motor around. Goes in pretty quick, doesn't it? It's all right. It's all good. It's not. It's going to be this here. Well, that's got to be bolted up to there, so that's fine. That's fine. Just leave it. Right. So we got it to there. Got to go out because I'm too low. Got to ma marry the gearbox up, though. 
But see, I've got to lift that too, so, because I've got it loose there. Just, Right, we'll leave that at that. Turn that off. We'll come back when we've got it all married up in the, into the bell housing to the motor. Got it all together. Just doing some bolts up. Should be right after that. Just try not to lean on the motor on the engine if you can. Even though it is loose here. Didn't sound good. <sighs> Leave that as that. <sighs> All new to me, this sort of job. <sighs> Leave that at that. Come down the bottom. I think I've done that one up, I'm not sure. I'll have another go at it. <sighs> yep, I've done that one. <sighs> The old memory lapse. All right, we'll put the starter motor back in now. Just got to line the bolt holes up. And we did. It started. Oh, I'm losing the light. Oh, we'll do that up. They don't need to be real tight. <coughs> there is a tension for them, but I don't know it. I'm just going by feel at the moment. Haven't got a torque wrench. I trust my strength. And that's the starter motor in. Got everything buttoned up. Starter motor finished putting in. Got all the fluids in, 
put a new, give it a new oil change, oil filter, uh, put new oil in it. Got all the radiator coolant all in, all topped up. Just about to give it the first start. Uh, I did do, before I got into finishing that off, I did put another shock and another wheel on it. And a steering boot and all that sort of thing while I had all this open. So um, I thought, well, yeah, I've got all this, all the intake off there. Airflow mass sensor there was off. And I thought, well, yeah, it gives me time to get down and put this new steering arm boot in. Because it's way down the buggy down there and I wouldn't be able to get it unless that was off. So I done that while it was all off before I turned the key. May need to give this a start with the jump um, jump leads there. We don't know. We'll see what it sounds like. Our first start up. She's in neutral. Yeah, got to use the jump leads. Use the jump leads. Coming to life. Oh, sweet! Look at that! Purrs like a kitten. That's pretty damn good for my mechanics. Still got yet to warm up. I've got all the power steering on, got the alternator on, air conditioner pump, got it all working. So now it's into uh, putting the other wheel on here and changing that shock out, put a new steering arm boot on down there, because there's not one down there. I haven't got a light today, so I can't show you. Then it's into getting further back into the car. Probably a bit of interior, new exhaust, rubbers underneath, tyres on the back, that's getting pretty close, not to probably put the bonnet on after today, so I'll let that heat cycle and see how it goes, whether the fans kick in, I'll leave that running, bring this back shortly when the fan cycle comes in, right we've got it up to the heat cycle, both fans going, I've got the air conditioner going as well, so that's why the one extra fan's going, uh, but yeah, it's reached its optimal temperature. Hose is pretty warm. That's pretty damn good, I reckon. No leaks. That's even better. No leaks. Loving that. Hasn't missed a beat. Pretty damn good. The air conditioner might need regassing. Blowing out hot air <laughs> but that's only minor but anyway we'll get to start pulling all this apart I took the wheel off while I've been waiting for it to uh, heat cycle and uh, yeah I can turn it off now which is good I'll turn the air conditioner off let it cool down first here we go fans are off Don't seem right to me. Well, they both kick in. Mm. Okay. Anyway, it, it has reached a fair fair temperature anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna just turn it off so I can get to work and keep motivated. I'll get back to you when I'm all done on the other side. I have found out that I've got an exhaust leak, so I may have to replace the exhaust too. I'm going to get under here while this is up. I'm going to put some stands under. I've done got the hydraulic jack there, but I am going to put a car stand there. So it's all safe. Get to, pull all this out. Then I'll have, the, have a look at the exhaust. Work my way back underneath the, the drivetrain. And all the exhaust and everything like that. Get it all buttoned up.